going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Truck News. Email us at mothertrucknews at gmail.com. Man, I think this is actually pretty reasonable. You know, we've uh, done so many segments where towns and cities uh, want truck drivers to be kicked out. They want you to haul the stuff to them, but they don't want you around. And this one right here was in the Palm Beach, uh, Loxahatchee acreage area. And I live in South Florida, so I know the area well. I'm talking about there are some houses close together, but I mean, 20 years ago, there's like one house. So basically what happened was there was a rule that said no semi-trucks, right? But over the years, uh, people started parking their semi-trucks there because the houses were very spread apart. Nobody said nothing, nothing. But now because houses are coming together, there's about 45,000 people that live in the area they're saying noise responses and that the truckers were there first not in favor you know so last year they started getting ticketed and it became a big deal so tomorrow at town hall they're going to revote and try to finalize this but i want to give some props actually uh, to the local commissioner of that county you know it says here uh palm beach county commissioner uh work for balanced approach amid semi parking debate negative connotation out there that once it's allowed, they're going to be in every parking lot in everyone's um, area. They were allowed since 2008 all the way through 2019, and that wasn't a problem. Palm Beach County, Florida, the future of commercial trucks parking in Loxahatchee and the acreage will soon be up for vote by Palm Beach County commissioners. Quote unquote, she says, we're going to do the best we can to find a balanced approach that everyone can live with. District 6 Commissioner Sarah Baxter said. Baxter hosted a town hall Thursday, bringing people in favor against the proposal that would allow commercial vehicles to continue parking in Latsehachi and the acreage. Uh, quote unquote, I want to hear the common ground, Baxter said. I want to hear the balance. I want to hear the compromise. For her, the proposal that the compromise, which asked to allow up to two Vehicles over 16,000 pounds on property in the acreage with limited hours of operations only if they belong to someone that lives in the house with a minimum of 24 foot wide driveway. Now, District 2 Commissioner Greg Wise disagrees. He's one of three commissioners who voted no in the first round of the proposal, saying the vehicles would be too large and too many for the area. You know, uh, quote unquote, potentially you could have a giant crane, heavy equipment parked in someone's yard. Why said we're saying what roughly 32,000 potential vehicles out there is that a good policy for a residential neighborhood? To wise, there are up to 170 commercial vehicles registered to homes in the area. He said that doesn't account for people who have rented parking spaces at the properties for trucks from other areas. You know, so if it passes, a second final vote will be on February 22nd. If it doesn't pass on Thursday, what's next for them? Uh, they're going to have a problem and they will probably have to move. So Weiss said he doesn't believe that those with large trucks will have to move if the proposal doesn't pass. He said he's looking into federal funding to build a place where small businesses can park their large trucks legally and continue to operate. Quote, unquote, we have lots of people in Palm Beach County that operate semi trucks and heavy equipment that don't park them at home. Why said they have the proper facility and commercials industrial area. But Baxter thinks differently. She thinks that, you know, this is their house, their home, and they should be able to park two trucks. So let's see what happens here. Right. Um, so far out of uh, the commissioners, four out of three were in favor of truck drivers parking two trucks. Uh, she did have a compromise that would say that. You know, uh, for everyone after that, they would have to pay a fee of twenty five hundred dollars for that second or third truck for the year. But hey, I mean, that could be a positive thing. Let's see where this goes here. But, you know, this this Sarah Baxter, she she definitely seems like she's for the truckers and wants to make a compromise. And I think that's a cool thing. You know, overall, you know, uh, let's see what happens. Maybe I could head down there tomorrow and get a taste of this and report to you guys live.